Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I want to go talk about something actually kind of, well, dope that happened. Now, this is going to be one of those weird stories and kind of story time videos, but it's actually kind of a somewhat interesting story if you let me go and sit down and explain to you. Now, it's not necessarily the best situation to be in. In theory, it's actually probably one of one, like, the more harder like situations I think I've ever been in in my entire life. But at the same time, even though when you're kind of going through hard stuff, sometimes there's little small caveats of like that just desserts that pop on up and karma sometimes does go and rear its ugly head up here. And thankfully, it's actually not karma against me, but karma against one of the worst people I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, you guys may think like, what's going on with this? This is a call out video or anything like that. No, I try my best to not ever do that. But this is a situation that if you guys have seen a few of my videos or if as well, maybe even seen some of CoffeeZilla's videos, you guys may be at least somewhat caught up on this. So I'm going to talk about this, talk about one of the craziest things, and actually one of the nicest news I get to go and share with you guys on this video. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. Feel free to give your thoughts and comments down below, or roast me and make fun of me. Completely okay with that. And of course, we also have the brand new Samsung promotion going on. So thank God for Samsung to help us on out. All the hot links are down below. Go check them on out. Hashtag ad. So in case you guys are curious on this, if you guys either watch like my Twitch streams or just like my general YouTube videos, we've talked about a very, very bad situation I'm a part of, and that's called Celsius. Not the actual like degree, but it's an ongoing, basically huge, massive fraud case that was well, not a fun situation to be in. Now, if you guys just do or do not know, because I have Miz on my YouTube channel, maybe like two or so videos before, I very unfortunately was a victim of a absolutely massive, horrible scan to myself. Now, the only reason I could talk, talk about this is because I feel like I always have to take accountability for my own decisions and poor actions. So this is not like a pity party video, and I've always tried my best not to be a pity party person. But in case you guys do or do not know, I have $268,000 currently locked up and at this point completely stolen due to a huge massive cryptocurrency fraud case ongoing with the Celsius platform. Now, this sucks. This is money that I have uh, put in there, and I basically saved a lot of money. I was going to try to go buy a house at some point, and well, sadly, due to a big fraud case, mainly due to the uh, executives and Alex Mushinsky, one of the big highest, like, up in the actual CEO on the actual platform itself, uh, yeah, basically I lost a bajillion dollars. Have not been able to access any of this. This is on the actual app itself, and as you guys can clearly go and see, uh, here's, like, the proof of claim deadline, which is all in regards now to basically, like, the bankruptcy itself, and as well, you're not currently eligible to withdraw and just based on the current bankruptcy documents, they have lost billions of dollars. It's been a really, really bad situation I've been trying to go do on top of making YouTube videos or Twitch streams. And I'll be honest with you guys, it's been an absolutely horrible situation. Now, this is not me kind of making a video for pity. Funny enough, it's actually a very, very good video where karma is coming through. So, like I said, this sucks. It's bad. I've talked about it. I have time to cope about it as well. You get, like, a little bit of money back. And, obviously, thankfully, because you guys watch my videos and normal jobs and other investments or whatever, I still, thankfully, am not homeless. Like, thank, thank God. But, uh, as you guys can probably tell, it's been a horrible, horrible situation. And, well, that's just a lot of money. Like, that's, like, a house in, like, most places. It probably would have been a house at this point. But one thing to note is that there was a big CEO called Alex Masinski. And if you guys have seen, even I was even in CoffeeZilla's video over here, which you guys want to go and hear me talk about this. Thankfully, I have been back in the workout grind since I did this video a little bit ago. But uh, yeah, I, even for this, like two weeks ago, CoffeeZilla once again had a chance to highlight this and go and explain of why this massive, horrible scammer, thank God, has finally been arrested. So I'm going to let my own self take this away. Base is saying, yeah, oh, it's totally fine. Yeah, you could totally keep our money in here. Yeah, I would totally invest more if I could. As they're currently at that same time withdrawing funds as they're literally on camera lying to everyone's faces. He made a lot of egregious claims on his Twitter, on his website, on his podcasts he would do, claiming uh, if Celsius ever went bankrupt, all the customers would get all of their funds back. You know, there's tweets of him saying that. And as a CEO of a company, you would take that word at face value. You would believe him when he says your coins are going to come back to you. So basically, I'm an idiot, obviously, first and foremost. We could go and we could get that out of the way, too. I'm okay with that one. But why this is actually such a good thing. Alex Masinski and his wife were probably one of the worst people I have ever seen in my entire life. No accountability, just basically mocking people, and at the same time, they're just dumb. Uh, I was only had my money involved this for me like two months or so. I did a sign-up bonus to go to a bunch of Bitcoin. So I just had an unlucky time, unlucky place. I can own up to it. It sucks. But the one big thing is that these people are horrible. Like the actual wife of the same man who has been arrested in 
kind of going these huge tangents of saying, hey, yeah, we're making billions of dollars, we're set, while at the same exact time they have been withdrawing all of their funds, taking money out, and basically leaving nothing on the platform itself while telling everyone on the public, donate more, pub in more. We'll give you $5,000 if you go put in a little bit of money yourself, put your retirements in it, because the business itself was a fundamental fraud. So basically they were just lying in front of everyone. And well, like I said, basically this guy's wife, who is a part of this fraud, was spending months, if not years, making fun of the people who were involved in this. So like these are actual legitimate scammers out here that were trying then, like after this was a huge bankruptcy, after these guys lost billions of dollars, had to go and sit there and be like, ha ha, yeah, go buy a t-shirt that says unbankrupt yourself. As you guys can probably tell, if you're the your husband is the reason why people are currently engaged in a random bankruptcy, that's not something you probably want to go and see. Let alone making fun of people, blocking people, telling like calling people poor, and a lot of other various horrible things we've seen from executives over here in this case. But the one big just dessert over here is that throughout this time. Alex Masinski, the same exact horrible person who lost billions of dollars and stole money from everyone, has been now thankfully arrested. Now, as of right now, it sucks because he is out on bail and out on bond, but the big thing is that this guy's life is probably over. Now, that doesn't necessarily bring back money that I have lost, and I'm sure a lot of other folks have, because I've talked to people obviously involved in the process, we've been in court, all that stuff, but right now, the SEC the CFTC and the FTC itself are all now suing basically the head honcho of this, let alone the actual state of New York, let alone the DOJ, and pretty much every big major financial institution that is out here has now a huge massive case to number one, put a lane on his house, so basically try to put like a lien and try to basically get any assets he can, uh, to do insider clawbacks, which basically means him trying to have to return all the funds he stole, and as well also will probably end up in jail for securities fraud, offering unregistered securities, scamming fraud, everything else in between, and basically even the US, United States Department of Justice has accused the former CEO of basically orchestrating a years-long scheme to mislead customers. Once again, I just want to go take my own accountability on this. If you guys ever do investments or risky investments or cryptocurrency, please always make sure you guys are safe. I understand, like, I'm still kind of pro crypto crypto, funny enough, but at the end of the day, like, guys, like, just make sure you guys are not dumb like me. You know, obviously, thankfully, I can, like, I'm young, I can still do other businesses and build up stuff, but at the same exact time, don't be dumb. But at this point right now, he has been charged. You guys can see Masinski and others are charged with seven counts, including securities fraud, commodities fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy to manipulate the price of Celsius token sell, and according to all the DOJ's indictment. And the indictment was accompanied by a slew of separate lawsuits against Masinski and Celsius by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, the Commodities Future Trading Commission, and the Federal Trade Commission, too, as well. Now, this has sadly been still in bankruptcy for the past over a year now at this point, which sucks, and it's just not a fun situation to go and be at because at this point other folks such as like Ronnie Cohan and Daniel Leon and even his own wife Christy and a few other various big executives all are part of this one basically try their best to siphon out as much money as they possibly can to well basically scam folks out and this is why I'm excited because we're over here and we see these videos and even my it's kind of just funny seeing my own self over here like we're like hey Thank God this guy finally got arrested. We have like people over here in CoffeeZilla thankfully coming up on the news, so thank you for him. For sure, if you're letting me have this video, like like over a million people have seen this, and a few million people have seen in the other videos I've been involved with too as well. But it's just a good day, because this is just making us happy, like to the point where they have so much stuff they have to go through. From him like lying on video, lying on Twitter, lying on like actual like proper documentations, legal documents, that they literally have to go wait another eight weeks just to process all of the mounds in mounds of evidence against him in the first place. It is insane. So this is like a good day to me. Like, I'm one of those people where it sucks. Like, I'm in a bad situation. That's fine. You guys don't have to deal with that. It's one of those rare videos where I don't want you guys to give me sympathy. It's fine. Like I said, I take the accountability for it. It's a bad situation. It sucks. I did it myself. It's my decision. I'm a grown man. But when you go and see someone like the Alex Mosinski, and don't forget his wife that I mentioned is trying to sell shirts to unbankrupt yourself and making fun of all these creditors in a now ongoing bankruptcy who have had old folks who lost their retirements and everything else, who is also involved in these ongoing lawsuits too. So as of right this second, if you have all these huge government bodies against you, it is not a good sign. And as well, there's a lot of really big conducting evidence where there was a 900 page report document that came out and essentially said of all the illegal, almost Ponzi-like activities they were involved with. And I will go and say that this guy is probably going to end up for in jail for a very, very long time time. At this point, he has like a $40 million lien on his house. He owes creditors quite a bit of money. And at the same time, too, as well, I hope to God 
is going to go to jail for a very long time. So it's a good day for me. I'm happy all the government's finally stepping on in. Wish they would have did it two years ago before I lost a bajillion different dollars and hopefully get something back myself. But at the end of the day, we take these W's and karma is a bitch. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. Check on the Samsung links. And thank you, Samsung, for sponsoring the videos this week. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow. And of course, as well, feel free to roast me down below because I think I deserve it. But at the same time, we're back to normal videos tomorrow and I'll take this win.